Hello guys, uh, this is Jacob. Today we're going to talk about how to build Flux.1 pipeline with Confi UI on Kaggle. And uh, here's the uh, diagram uh, that we're going to build today. So first, uh, let's go to Kaggle to build everything that's needed and then come back to this uh, diagram and to see how to build a pipeline. Uh, so let's create a notebook called uh, Confi UI on Kaggle. And then we probably want to switch some categories, um, but I think the default Kaggle working directory is fine. Um, if it's not, then you can actually switch to the Kaggle tab, which has a larger disk space. Then we have to install um, all the dependencies in Torch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio, with the uh, Natalie uh, CUDA uh, 12.4 build. And then after that, we just um, clone the Confi UI. So this is basically straightforward. And then we just install all the requirements for Confi UI. And also, um, we um, make sure that uh, all the folders exist. You can just uh, check out um, uh, doing uh, the LS to check out all these um, different folders to see if they exist. Um, after that, we just um, have to download a few models for Confi UI. Um, so first, we have to uh, download the uh, CD96 uh, Flux.1 DAP GAP model. So this is actually a quantized uh, model for uh, Flux.1. If you go to um, the uh, CD96 uh, GitHub folder, so you can get more information about it. So um, so here's the uh, Hugging Face repo. Uh, you can check the check it out. So it's a Flux.1 .dev .gov. The um, size of this model is very small. It only uh, has a, around six gigs. So it's not the uh, like 16 gigs or over 20 gigs original Flux.1 model. So it's very big. Even Flux.1 uh, 8-bit is probably 16 gigs. So this is a Q4 uh, 4-bit model. So it's a 4-bit gap model. So it's very small. Uh, performance is also pretty good. So this is um, a very uh, late version, later version of the, uh, you can see that actually this is only uh, two months ago. So it's a fairly new uh, GAP model that specifically built for Flux.1 dev. So which is nice. So we're going to use this for Confi UI on Kaggle because this is the only model that's kind of suitable for the uh, hardware resources on Kaggle. So let's go back to the uh, notebook. So then we download this model and then I basically uh, put it into the UNI folder. So make sure that's um, put the uh, uh, models uh, UNI folder. So next, uh, we're going to download the text encoder. So the uh, text encoder, we can download from the Conv UI anonymous uh, Flux uh, text encoder. We just get the uh, T5XSL uh, FP8 uh, safe tensors and also clip safe tensors. So this is going to be tied to the uh, clips. Then we move those to the clip models clip folder. And then after that, we just um, also can we can also use a different clip uh, from OpenAI with clip uh, VIT large patch 14, but uh, this is optional, so you don't have to uh, download it. But you can also download to try them out. This is uh, the text encoder. So next, we're gonna um, just get the uh, uh, a Black Forest Lab, the original uh, Flux teams. Um, a VAE and safe tensors. So we basically uh, need to get the token also. Uh, you can just use the sample token. So I'm going to remove the token later for, uh, after the demo. But you can create your own token on Hugging Face. And after that, we just uh, uh, get the, uh, because this Flux.1 dev is a private repo, so you have to just use the token to download the uh, VAE safe tensors. And uh, uh, also we move the safe tensors to the Confi UI models VAE folder. And uh, next, we just um, uh, download LoRa's. So if you need LoRa, you just uh, can grab it from Xlabs AI. So you can uh, go to the Xlabs AI folder. So there's a lot of LoRa's. You can just pick one that you uh, like and then just grab it and download that to dump to the uh, mo Combi US models LoRa folder. So we use the Realism uh, LoRa uh, as an example. So you can just uh, get it and download and put it into the LoRa folder. So next, uh, we can uh, use control net, but that's optional. So in this demo, we're going to cover the control net. Um, if you want to try the control net, you can also download the control net from Instant X or uh, the Shaker Labs um, repos. So then put it into the uh, uh, Confi UI models control net folder, but we're not cover that in this demo. Uh, so and then uh, there are two more things we have to download from uh, Confi UI. The first is the Confi UI uh, GAF. Um, repo from the CD96. So we uh, use this as a custom node in the Confi UI. Uh, we'll explain that later. Um, so this is um, 
uh, the uh, Conv UI Gav custom load. So after you download the um, Gav uh, Git repo, then just um, also do the uh, pip install to install the requirements for uh, the Conv UI Gav uh, custom nodes. So you can see it's actually the custom node path. And then after that, we just download the Conv UI manager. So this is not actually required for the demo, but this is a good practice. I'll show you later uh, how the Conv UI manager works. So basically, it manages all the custom nodes within the Conv UI uh, pipeline. So it's very convenient. So a lot of people use the Conv UI uh, manager. Uh, so this is also a good practice to maintain all these different uh, node, custom node, or you can call it packages, if you are fooling with Node.js or these other uh, frameworks. Um, next, uh, we just um, install Ungrok. So this is uh, all we need to um, build for uh, Conf UI to run. And uh, then we have to expose everything to the public because we want to expose um, everything to the public so we can access it using the public URL. So then we install uh, Py and Grok and Grok. And then we just uh, also create a function to uh, run bash command within Python. Then we uh, paste in the uh, Grok token and uh, just uh, run this Grok connect. Um, to um, basically point the uh, local 81880 port. So uh, so, so the ngrok public URL, which you can see here, is going to point to the local 818084 uh, port, which is the where the conf UI is going to run. So um, after all this is set up, then you can just start running conf UI. So uh, just cd to the uh, conf UI folder where you uh, previously installed, and then just run the Python main.py. Uh, don't print server. So basically, just run the uh, this one line command. You should able to start uh, Conv UI. So let's go back to the uh, Conv UI that we actually spin up. So this is the EAC6. You can see this is actually the one that's already running EAC6. So so basically, uh, you can see uh, what we downloaded earlier in the uh, notebook. So then you can see the uh, we downloaded the Flux1 Dev Q4 uh, GAF. Uh, this is the uh, quantized model. And uh, uh, and then um, this is actually uh, you have to add it. So whatever you see in the uh, pipeline, just click double, click double, click the uh, canvas, and search for the let's say for example unit uh, loader. So you can see that unit loader. Just uh, um, uh, double click, and then you can just add it in this canvas. So um, that means that let's continue. So you just uh, first add the unit loader to load this uh, flux one dev q4 uh, quantized uh, four bit GAF uh, model. Uh, this this is a main model, so you can just um, uh, put it in uh, on the left side as the first one. Then you can just do a clip a clip loader. So this do clip loader. So your clip name one is clip uh, underscore one save tensors. The second one is from uh, uh, T5XSL uh, FP8. So this is also available in ConvUI's um, offshore Apple. So you can actually see in the uh, hugging face of your Apple, uh, the Conv UI, they provided the flux text encoders. So you can just download it from here. And then, uh, which we'll talk about in here in the uh, Kegel notebook. So you can see the uh, text encoders. Uh, that's what we downloaded from here, right? So you should, uh, basically it's gonna be tie everything in this uh, component. So the clip, first is a clip uh, underscore L, and then the other one is T5, so T5 encoder. So then next, we're just uh, also going to uh, tie the VAE. So just double click and search for load VAE. Uh, you will be able to just um, put this component in here and then specify the VAE to the AE safe tensions that we downloaded in the Kaggle. Um, uh, if you want LoRa, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when we uh, go through the Kaggle notebook, um, if you want LoRa, then just uh, uh, add a load LoRa here and then uh, just specify the LoRa name as a realism LoRa safe tensors as we um, downloaded earlier in the Kegel notebook. Um, if you don't want LoRa, that's fine. This is, uh, LoRa is optional. Um, so once you um, be able to kind of um, add all these different components and build a pipeline, uh, you should be able to just connect all these different components and then uh, queue the prompt and start to run the pipeline. So uh, first we uh, the UNet loader. So the UNet loader is gonna uh, basically connect to uh, the load LoRa. So you can see the model is actually tied to the uh, UNet uh, GAF model. Then um, this um, UNet loader is going to also tie to the K sampler, right? The UNet model is going to get tied to the K sampler. You can see the uh, the white line here. So basically they are connected. 
Then the next thing we have to connect is this uh, dual clip loader. Is uh, this uh, dual clip loader? This is gonna connect to uh, the LoRa, and also to uh, the another uh, one is gonna clip connect to the actual prompt. So you can see uh, basically they're all highlighted here. They connect to the uh, positive prompt and the negative prompt. So, which is you can see the prompt is actually first the positive and then the negative, right? So the negative we just keep it clean. We don't want a negative at this uh, demo, and then. Next, we're gonna uh, connect the VAE. So you can see the VAE is connect to the VAE decoder. So the VAE decoder is actually um, uh, in the default uh, canvas, so you don't have to add it. So everything uh, on the middle and on the right side, they're all by uh, default. So only the four, the unit loader, dual clip uh, loader, and then also the VAE and also LoRa, those are added, uh, but the other things are all coming by default when you spin up the uh, config UI. Um, pipeline. So, um, and then for the LoRa, you can see that um, the LoRa is connected to the model uh, of the uh, UNet model, and then uh, the clip is going to connect it to the dual clip, and then the uh, this clip is going to click connect to the uh, taxing tax, uh, which is the prompt. So you can see those are all highlighted. And uh, um, for the output image, you want to actually put a width and height, which is right now I change it to a uh, 1024. You can specify any uh, size you want. Um, and also for the UK sampler, we want to specify uh, the basically the seat. You can pick the random seat or just put to any number you want. Uh, we want the control after generate to be fixed. And then we want steps to 20 steps. Uh, we can put a, a more steps. It's going to generate a better image. So it's going to uh, Basically, for uh, flux that one depth, it's gonna be generate better image, and then for the configuration, basically, basically it's a temperature. If you uh, call this as a temperature, this uh, basically from one to ten, basically. So um, you, sh uh, you can just use the configuration at three or maybe uh, one. Uh, it's fine. And then a uh, simpler name, which is uh, use Uller, and then the scheduler, which is just simple scheduler. You can click the arrows to choose uh, which one you want, um, and then denote a specified one. So that's all you need to set up. Then after everything is uh, configured, I just uh, specify the prompt, the um, which you want to generate, right? So the t uh, right now we generate this image. You can see that um, lady on the right side. So that's what we want to generate. So it's a female character wearing goggles while sitting in the desert, holding a carpool sign that has written on it in a black paint that says Fox Diamond Tutorial. This is exactly what the prompt is, right? So you can see that's actually generated very nicely. So uh, let's go back to Kaggle. Um, before I actually go back to Kaggle, which will show the manager, config UI manager we talk about. So the config UI manager, you can see that's actually going to manage all the different um, config UI components or config UI uh, custom nodes. Uh, and then for the GAF nodes we saw earlier, you can also search for GAF. You can see it's actually already installed, right? So this is how you actually manage the custom node using the uh, config UI manager. So uh, let's go back to the Kaggle. Um, so you can see in the Kaggle, um, the total memory that we actually run for uh, this pipeline is about 7 gigs. So which is really nice. To have a total of 16 gigs. Uh, in the uh, Kaggle, we actually only use 7 gigs when um, we run this um, quantized model. So then um, the space will actually use only 15 gigs. So they have like 50 or 60 gigs max, So which is super nice. Um, so you can see also like the output of the running. So you can see that's 20 steps. Right, so we specify turn fast to generate the image, so that's how um, it shows up in the log as well. So, that being said, um, this is how we run the uh, Coffee UI with Flux.1 pipeline uh, on Kaggle. So, hope this is helpful. And uh, if you do like this video, please uh, subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. Um, thanks for supporting the channel, and uh, see you in the next one.